Okay. All right. Welcome to a live edition of the Matt Mac Show, EP Matt. number two, episode number two. Man, we're back. We're back sooner than we thought we would be because we have some breaking news. Yes, sir. Samson Dowda has joined the Oxygen Gym crew, the team, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Bader, you know, when I saw that, Mac, um, Mac I, I was like, okay, is this what Samson actually needs? Is this, <laughs> does he need a gym? The camel crew. <laughs> the camel the camel crew. crew. I mean, well, so Brandon's still training out of that gym, right? right. Brandon Curry, right? And I don't know if Brandon went back there right now. Last no, I heard, he was he still in America. Yeah, he's no, but when he gets ready for the Olympia, Brandon yeah. is is uh, in Kuwait. Yeah, and yeah. and oxygen gym. So yeah, they have that guy under their belt, and I just kind of look at it as you know. Okay. Okay. What is what is brand? What is brand? Uh, sorry. What does Samson Delta need? He needs to come in condition. He, right. He's huge. He's three hundred pounds. He doesn't need a, to be trained anymore. Really. Right. He, he doesn't need to be trained. He needs a really good dietary nutritionist coach that can fucking get him peeled. And there's so many coaches out there that can do that. The 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 Kuwait crew, the Camel crew, they haven't really produced that many athletes that have been known to come in super dry, peeled, shredded glutes to the bone. There hasn't been any top Olympians that they've done that with. They've done it kind of with Brandon Curry, but it's hit and miss with Brandon. Right. So, And when they did it with Brandon, it was around the time when it was going through like pandemic and all of that. So um, Phil was already injured far as yeah, the stomach. Yeah. He was already, yes. you know, on the down. And then um Rami was still like trying to figure his whole situation with getting conditioned and and he had to actually leave Kuwait training style and eating regimen style and everything because over there they're so from what I'm seeing outside looking in they're so key on more mask more mask yes. more mask you see, and and Samson, um, in his situation, like you say, he's 300, 300 plus pounds yeah. on a norm now. So more uh, mask is not going to do anything for him. Now, training, I think his wife does a tremendous job with mm -hmm. training with him, also yeah. with keeping his um, his nutrition in order. Now, just rearranging some things, putting some fish in there. You know, um, I, don't, I don't know if he's carb sensitive and all it is, but just changes carbs around from like potatoes to more rice or yeah. if it's rice, take the rice out, add more yams or whatever the case may be as far as the carbs. But going over there to Kuwait, Kuwait, like the training, he did a wonderful job here. Well, in the UK, with getting his back more um develop so i don't really see much of what they're going to be doing besides putting more unnecessary unnecessary muscle on that yes. brain that's already have a ton of it well let's take a look at the video give people some context if you haven't seen it a lot of people are at work today they don't check instagram and social media like we do non-stop so they probably they might have not seen this so let's right. play a little bit of it and we can pause it here and there if we, as we need okay This is a big one. So a lot of people have been asking me questions about what's the plan going forward for me. You gotta point out something. And, uh, there's been a lot of uh and I said this week it's gonna be a big week. So uh a few weeks ago I reached out to a gentleman that we all know. A few weeks okay, you guys gotta listen. A few weeks ago. A few weeks ago. Just a few <laughs> weeks ago. So anyone that was saying I heard another video out there that said that maybe this was decided even when he fired Milos way back then. No, it was not two weeks ago. Okay. So when you watch other channels and you put that out there, you got to come here. You got to come to the uncensored version of what this real shit is. And right. we'll, we'll dissect this shit for you guys. So you don't get misled by other channels. Okay. Cause the other guy was like, 
well, he decided this a long time ago when he was at the Arnold. No, no, he fucking didn't. He just did it two weeks ago. Okay. Yeah, so I this saw is that the, video as well. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't want to say it. I'm not going to call the guy out. He's a good channel. Nah. So let's leave it, leave it. But, um, you know, it is what it is. And so this is two weeks ago. And to me, this is a, like kind of like a rash decision. You had two weeks to think about this and now you're there and you're. So to me, it's like Bader has the money. He's got the money. He's got the nice gym. He's got the food and they got the people taking care of you. Got the drugs. Okay. Got the drugs. You can, right. Uh, I mean, I'm like, treated like a More king over awesome. there. <laughs> so it's like two weeks and you made that decision. I wonder if Fuad was involved in any of this. And if he said, gave the green light on this, because I don't know if, to me, I don't think Fuad would want him over there where they're in control of him. Because you know how controlling Fuad is. So it's just kind of like, that's kind of interesting take on it right. as well. Right. He asked me to um, come check out his gym. So last night we caught on the flights and uh, <laughs> I'm sure you guys recognize this gym over here. Do you know this we woman do. right back there? Always behind, always right there? Yeah. Who's that? That's his wife. That's his wife. Will right not let him out of it. She will not let him out of his sights. That's yeah. never going to happen. She right. is like, you You think you're going to go Kuwait by yourself? That ain't going to happen, brother. <laughs> That's not going to happen. I right. am in control of your career, Samson Dowda, which is fine. I've heard things. I'm not going to say it on this uh, because I have. I can't verify that, but people right. are telling me she's got some whatever, and I'll leave her right there on Samson. So, uh, yeah, she's got the, the she's got the key. And yeah. uh, and you said you mentioned that maybe she won't be allowed in the gym, but I think she'll be allowed in the gym probably. Well, I, I think um, from the beginning, I think because, you know, there's no women allowed there in the gym. So um, other than workers, you know, like they have the cryo and all of that inside there to where you start getting your treatments to recover for the next training, because over there you're going to do two of two days. You're going to train a.m. p.m. regardless. So. Um, there are certain staffs there that's uh, female. So I don't yeah. know as time goes on if his wife is going to be uh, accepted to be a part of that being on that gym because it goes against their whole um, mm -hmm. their whole rules, a way of living, the lifestyle and everything that they're yeah. created. Now, they already have a Miss Olympia over there, which is Brandon Curry. Brandon yeah. Curry wife is not there, but we know Samson and his wife goes hand in glove. So it's going to be interesting to watch because I think that would be the only deal breaker on why he would not go any further with them if mm -hmm. they limit his wife access to oversee those meals, um, that training. You know, just having that eye because she's accustomed to doing that. She's the one that got him involved and invested into doing bodybuilding alone. Yeah. She's the one that's seen it in him. So I'm real interested to see how this is going to play out. Yeah, uh, I saw. So she's in the gym. She's filming all the videos of him in the gym. And then you can see the guys in the background looking and like, like what are you doing in here? Don't, right. Feel, don't film me in the background. You're filming your like you know what I'm supposed to. So it's like <laughs> I already see that maybe not working out, but I guarantee they must have talked about that. She's like, if if he's gonna come here, I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna train him. I'm gonna be in the gym with him. I'm gonna be filming him for social media. Blah blah blah. Which right. you know, I mean, I, that would make sense for them to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's see where we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in Kuwait and we're at Oxygen Gym. One of them. And this one. <laughs> we're out here at Friends Day and I'm here for weeks. This is happening. Yeah, this is happening. This is happening. Oh. This, is, this is positive. This is happening. Okay, so what does that mean? It's, it's in concrete, meaning that his decision is already made but then it's like as you hear the word choices that are that he's using it's like he's straddling in the fence but mm -hmm. with that statement this is happening meaning that is in concrete that 
you didn't just fly out there to see the gym and get yeah. a workout. You actually went to put ink to paper. Yes. And yeah. I wonder how Fuad is feeling right now with this one. Because he's about to lose a lot of control. Mm -hmm. I agree. And I'm just looking at that. Yeah, conti continue. I'm just looking at some of the comments here so we can see what oh, okay. are. Yeah, like I uh I agree with that. I, I think Samson definitely reached out to Fuad and say, you know, is this a good idea or not? Should I right. should I do this? And he obviously he got the green light and he's there and that means is he going to move there i mean if you're there and you're saying this is happening this is happening mm -hmm. i'm assuming he's going to do the brandon curry style where he's there for the prep before a show where there it's for the olympia obviously so he'll be there for 12 weeks or whatever and that'll be that so mm -hmm. if that's the, the case then that's also his coach his nutrition coach coach is the Vader team everything coaching yeah. training everything. food drugs everything and mm -hmm. is that going to make us a better looking samson data with more condition well like i said they don't maybe brandon curry don't have the genetic mm -hmm. makeup to bring those legs super dice deep cuts but we know for a fact they have all the equipment to bring a even bigger mask monster, would that blow his waist out? That's you know, that's that's the risk that he's gonna have to take. Now, he already was showing signs of gyno, and yeah. if they're pumping more drugs, he's gonna be taking time off for the surgery because it's gonna inflame his gyno. Because we can remember back. Um, the uh, mid of 2000 when it hit the teen years when Big Rami had the gyno issues you yeah. know because they have great stuff there they have unlimited stuff there and for someone like Samson he seemed more like a hyper responder because his body make changes extremely fast and he don't need much of anything now I don't know if that's if that if that's gonna go over well with Beta because it's more. They they believe in more, 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 just on the outside looking in. Yeah. Someone that can give us that information will be Dennis James because Brandon Curry don't give up any information. You know, he leave us in the dark when it pertains the whole process of him prepping over there. We really don't know the process he never shared much with us now dennis james is the one that knows the ins and outs from before you see what i'm saying yeah he's the only one that can really tell us the amount of what they're going to do far as the food the training like he's because yeah. regan couldn't cut it over there regan mm -hmm. couldn't cut it he, he left. left he left you know he said it's too much food too much drugs it's not for him yeah and and that's what that's what Samson doesn't need. He doesn't need to get any bigger. And Regan Regan Grimes, Regan Grimes left. Um, and now you got people saying in the comments he has stated he's only there for a week. And someone commented saying about him being part of the team. And Samson replied saying he did not say that. So I believe this is unconfirmed unless something otherwise whatever. Um, so then. <laughs> This is so. This is what Samson does. He goes on social media, and he says something, and makes people like, fr like not freak out, but like, oh shit, what the fuck's going on, man? What are you, you're dying? What the hell? And then he goes to Oxygen Gym, and then he says, "This is happening, man. Big news. This is big news. This is happening. Yeah. Why the fuck is it big news? And this is happening if this if it's just for in a, a week. if this if it's just for a week, and this person says that Samson replied and said. You know that's not the case. I'm not part of the team. Of course, you're Does not, not part of the team, but you are over there negotiating, being under their watch. Now, yes. me, not like I don't have a dog in this fight. Like we always say, we have no dog in this fight. Yep. We're not trying to. We're not trying to crap on anyone. You know, we just stating our 
input, opinion on what we see, because yeah. we have, you know, experience in this, in this lifestyle. Now, if I had to pick Kuwait over Milos when it pertains enhancements, training style, food, I'm picking Milos for the simple fact he has more leniency with listening to what his athletes are saying or noticing with their own physique. Because if it was up to Milos, Samson would have been doing more white fish. Samson would have been yeah. doing more cardio. But he respect his athletes to know their body as well a little more than he do. Over in yeah. Kuwait is more um this is what we're gonna do. Yes. And I can see that. And we'll watch a little bit more of this video here first. Uh, let's, get, mm -hmm. let's go get our first workout in the uh, Kuwait. Let's do it. Our first workout. <laughs> big boy. You still big as hell. Yeah. yeah. See, Samson as an athlete, love it. Love him. He mm -hmm. does his yeah. thing. You know, he trains hard. But he's he's seeing too many mixed signals when it comes time to putting stuff to the public. Yes. It's not well thought out. It seems like this was two weeks ago. Now I'm all of a sudden I'm in Kuwait. Rational. Yeah. Because Burning I think. Impulse. Yes. I think he's lost. I think he's lost. Like, panic mode. He's, yeah, panic mode. He doesn't like, he's got a lot of pressure on him. Uh, you know, he's kind of on a downward trend in the sense of, you know, he he's, he was supposed to be the hottie shoe He was supposed to be the guy that's the next in line. Uh, he's got everything. He's got all the tools. He's got the physique. He's got the size. He's got the height. And then he loses two times to hottie shoe yeah. And so he's like, okay, what do I do? What do I do? And, I, and then I fired Milos, and that was a big dramatic thing, and I fucked that up. So now i got to figure out, okay, how do I redeem myself? To me, this isn't how you redeem yourself by going to Oxygen Gym. And saying this is happening, just hey guys, man, Bader invited me out to Oxygen Gym to check it out, and I'm just here seeing how things are. Maybe or maybe I'll I'll fill out fill out things. I haven't made any decisions yet. That, that's all you say. That's just people love transparency. Yeah, but give us more than cliffhangers and yes. speculations to where we got to use our own logic of dissecting the actual words that he's putting out there like it's happening this is about it's happening this is happening like to What's us happening? as athletes when yeah. we say it's happening meaning we pull the trigger yeah like, like it's go time you don't go to the camel crew and say this is happening this is happening now <laughs> not with <And> them <laughs> no no so i just he's got to just work on that the social media game because he's not really good at it in the sense of dealing with the, the publicity and the PR of, of his career and, and statements he's making because you're right. top three in the world, man. You're, or, you know, you're up there on a classic yeah. winner. Look at him. He's already doing large amount of yeah weight on him elbows with uh, dips. What's that? Four or five wheels. Yeah. Four wheels, three wheels. Change or 40. 45 plates a quarter on the end like and you can tell that there's not no muscle connection going on mm -hmm. that's He's just pushing. pushing weight that's pushing yeah. weight i'm showing you guys i'm strong like we can look at you and tell that you know how to train and everything but all of this force repping out the beginning out the gate mm -hmm. with with no contracting and no squeezing, no muscle connection is like a waste of lifting weights. Yeah, in my eyes, because he can get a, a extreme pump with light lighter weight. You know, Samson closer to forty years old. You know, yeah. let's be honest, his body don't show any signs of that. So let's not no. get any injuries. But look at this. This is a lot of weight for shrugs. Yeah, yeah. he's uh... he's a beast, though. He's big. Let me look. Look at his arms from the back here. It's just like fucking the triceps. It's huge. He's he's a genetic freak, yeah. and I I really want him to do well. I want him to to come into the Olympia in the best shape of his life. So it's gonna be, so it could be a good show for everyone yeah. to watch. Yeah. Um, but going over to Kuwait, 
It's a different climate. It's a different atmosphere. It's a different environment. It's very strict over there. You're not you're gonna. He's gonna be at home playing video games, not going out. That's what Brandon Curry. That's all he could do when he was there. It's right. like a camp. It's a camp. So this isn't a vacation. This isn't going. All right. This, this is, is it's hot. It's with he, he's coming from uh, England, the UK, <laughs> to the desert. Yeah. You both to you both to get rude awakening because look how much he's sweating in here and i don't know if this gym has ac i'm assuming it must have ac it's the desert yeah he's sweat, sweating his ass off maybe that's a good thing maybe that's gonna yeah. help him get leaner right? yeah but right. he's got a rude awakening for the lifestyle once you step out into the sun you're dead it's fucking you're, you're dying it's plus yeah it's like 120 degrees he's gonna, he's gonna have to adapt to it he thought arizona was hot when he was out there yeah. For on those few days, Arizona <laughs> has nothing on that desert, you know. No, no. Yeah, so, yeah, so uh, you know, guys, leave a comment. Do you think Samson made a mistake by going out to the Camel Crew to have him have them prep him for the Olympia? Uh, obviously, that's the next show coming up for him. And allegedly, because we have a cliffhanger now. Allegedly, yes. but it's gonna happen. This is happening yeah. for this, you know. So yeah, you know, I can't I can't see where that comment is because I'm blocked by Samson Data. Yeah. You're not. So you can go check it out and see what where he said that HLCC said he, that's what happened in a comment. So <laughs> we'll see. Uh yeah. you know, he's uh I just see Whoever, whoever's in this corner, which is, is supposed to be his wife, she should be saying, you don't need to go out there and say, this is happening. Just be a little bit, be like, hey, I'm here. I'm, I'm testing things out. I am looking for a new team, a new coach. And I'm just playing the field right now. Yeah. It's like in football. You're playing the field. Where, okay, what team am I going to go? Like, where am I? You know, I'm just checking it out, checking out the arena. But, right? But this is the dangerous part. The Olympia is not that far away. Get no. with a new coach. They're going to need easily a year, year and a half, two years to really figure their body out, you see. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, dude, you, you're top three in Olympia. You're a Arnold winner, and you top two and two Arnolds. Yeah. To a yeah. great athlete, not just no normal guy that just, you know, no. you're losing not being 100%. You're not losing at 100%. Yeah. And you're not going to get 100% switching coaches this freaking late in the game. Yeah. You know, and karma is a motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. You cannot do good peoples the way you've done Milos and expect to get the mm -hmm. outcome you're looking for. Because this is the thing that I learned in life. Patience. You were yeah. right there. You were close. Milos was getting you closer. He wasn't making you decrease. You didn't decline. You were getting closer here because people were like, oh, he's only um, turned from top three. No, his first Olympia, he was top six. Yeah. Really big deal. Yeah. Second Olympia, top three. Yeah. Really big deal. Arnold win. You see, so Milos was getting him closer and closer. He was in decline, but he had full eye in yeah. his ear. And I'm quite sure he got in his ear by getting at his wife. Because Samson yeah. listens to his wife. He adored this woman. So that's who's going to, he's going to make his decisions based off of her word for their life, their well-being. You see what I'm saying? But Fuad, he played puppeteer. He got Samson from Milos because Milos, like, I just feel so bad because Milos is such a great guy and he's still taking it on the chin. Yeah. And you can see with that Patrick interview that Milos is up to here with the bullshit. Yes. And now, you know, Samson don't understand how vital this is with what he's trying to do. He's trying to do open heart surgery in a fucking Walmart parking lot. Yeah. It um he I, hey, if if he felt like he needed to leave Milos, whatever, okay, right. And we, we 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 did see that Milos he was with, with Milos for a while two years and he never got the, the striated backside um, even with his wife he's never got it so she can't take credit for nothing as well um, 
so maybe there's a coach like Patrick, which they're beefing right. with each other is kind of funny, who's able to get like John De La Rosa has never been that fucking peeled. Right. He did what after Patrick changed his fucking life. And this right. is the thing. Like Stanimal, he's with him. This is the thing. More cardio, more white fish. Yep. Stricter on that diet. It's the diet. It's yeah. the diet. That it's just the diet. Ready. It's not that hard. Just it's the do nutrition. the cardio. Yeah. yeah, it's the nutrition because Samson back got better and yeah. his glutes got a little thinner. It got he, his skin got a lot thinner. It did. Yeah. With Milo. So it wasn't like he was declining. It's just it takes time to yeah. work with someone that you have to pretty much start from ground zero with. Yeah. You see, because we just talking about the Arno and Olympia. What about the other wins that he won? At the smaller shows with Milos, yeah. so he had more well, attributes he's than not, he gained from Milos. He's not giving Milos credit for those shows. Remember, his, his no, wife he's not is, giving him credit for anything. Yeah, you see, and his wife, his wife gets the credit for the Romania and the Prague Pro shows. He's made that yeah, very clear. Milos, that, that nothing. Yeah, and that's the thing. If you didn't follow Milos' protocols and orders, you should have told him then. I'm not following him right now with these two shows. You don't have him thinking that you're following his protocol and program because he talked to you and the, your wife about the layout. He's not excluding her. You know, yeah. Milo's got involved. He got in bed with both of them, respecting the wife input because she's there with him around the clock and yeah. he's going off of what she's saying. So, for both of you not to let him know we're not going your route. We're going with this. It's crazy because y'all got him looking like he's some fraudulent yeah. nutritionist coach and all of this. It, this is another thing, though, Mac. Yeah. I did some things I regret. My health is failing. You go out of Kuwait. Things you regret. Your health is yeah. failing. Nine yeah. times out of ten, you're going to take more stuff than you ever did. And to a hyper responder, it works the opposite when you do that. Yes. It works against you. You start declining. Yeah. I just I just think he's he he, he got reached the batter is a multimillionaire. Okay. He has the biggest gym in Kuwait and other businesses. He phones Samson and says, hey, why don't you come out to a camel girl? Right. I'm going to pay you. I'm going to pay you every month. You're going to have a free place to live, free food, free drugs, free training. Come on. Just come. It's Let's do this. It's a cost every time. It's a cost every time. Right. You know, and that's tempting for anyone. Yeah. But at the same time, at his level, he can find that. Yeah. Pretty much anywhere. And I hope that he just worded that wrong and he's really thinking he's and it. yeah, really weighing out his options and everything because <laughs> if he didn't, sound like it, it's gonna be a tough top six lineup and he could fall back in top six. This could be the downfall of Samson down because if he comes into the Olympia, now Vader and his team have to figure him out. They got what is it, five months? Yeah. Right. Give or take. 18 weeks. So, or whatever that is. Um, to figure Samson out. They've never dialed dialed him in for a show. They've never picked him for a show. His wife's probably gonna be like debating what okay, or they do they know what they're doing? They're about to do it. Do we trust them like two two months in, they may be freaking out stressing out because right. things aren't going to plan and then you're getting ready for the and you're, you're you you decide to go to kuwait to get yourself ready for the biggest show in the world yeah and you've never worked with these people before that's that's a risk and not only that <laughs> a place where women voice are not respected enough to take their input on something yeah so it's like if, has so much going against him with this decision yes. and he don't understand that of course they're going to roll out the blue carpet of course they're going to roll out 
bring out the flowers, the roses, the, the bells, yes. and the whistles. And once they get you to commit on black in that ink, mm -hmm. get her out of here. Yeah. 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 You know, it's like <laughs> he's not going to be able to fuck you. You stuck now. Him. You stuck with us now. So yeah. you signed a contract or whatever. You, you're signed with Death Row Records. Yeah. <laughs> so I just, of all the people Samson could have went to, he didn't go to Patrick or Neil Hill or Stefan. Matt, Matt Jensen. Uh, Matt Jensen. Wow, Matt Jensen. I mean, they, they would I don't know why. They would have did some great things. Jesus. Look what he did uh, to, to Quentin. Charles Griffin. Conditioning is always together. You know, he just had that peck issue. Yeah. And he been with Matt pretty much the whole time. Uh, you have Sean Carita. You it's just so many. We could just keep naming. And yeah. one thing they have is full muscles, super lean and shredded and hard. You know, it's Quinton. Quinton Matt Jensen. Yeah. Look at him. Look at Qu Qu Quinton is looking amazing. Just a sidebar. Yeah. It's just that rear, his back is so wide to where it make his <laughs> legs look extremely small yes. from the back. Well, he's you always know, had the, the, the uh, calves. The calves are he's got calves. so huge. It shows yeah. the hamstrings are smaller than his calves from the rear. Yes. So his hamstrings have always been uh, a setback from I've, I've, I've said that before. Um, they're narrow. They're narrow. He doesn't yeah. have a good sweep. I'm trying to find yeah. Um, and it's hard when you have really long fingers to yeah. get that sweep. You nearly Andrew Jack is the only person I've uh, witnessed super tall that has great sweeps on his quads. Yeah, see, the calves see. are bigger than the hamstrings. Yeah, he doesn't have thick ass hamstrings like uh, Nick Walker does. No. Right. Um he looks he could amazing. be top two though. He could be top two in that competition. He could he could get yes. second. I, I can't see I can't see Martin beating him because he's got the condition. He's got not the at all. skin. Yeah. I can't see Beef Stew beating him. Beef Stew at looks all. good, but it's not there. He's just no. And then Antonio. That's gonna be tough too. That's gonna be a battle. Yeah. But uh and it's only going to be a, a battle because he has really great conditioning. He's hard, small ways, um, pretty physique and everything. So it's like, and it's a taller version. So it's like Sonio got his work cut out with him. And he's going to push Nick. I just don't know a matter of how hard, you know. Now, when he turned to the rear, Antonio got him. Nick got him. Nick has him. Antonio has him. The thing is, um, would they have enough to shut the door? Because the boy is a force to reckon with. Oh, when I saw this, I was like, holy shit. This kind of looks right? like Phil Heath's type of structure yes. back. Listen, now. for for a brief, I thought it was Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what the? Yeah. 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 Uh, I don't think he's going to be get beat. I think he's done enough. He's ready already. I can see. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he's going to have sliced out glutes. We'll see. We'll see. He got bigger. So sometimes when you get bigger, you lose that little refinement. Yeah. That little, the, the, right? the, the little, uh, in the glute area. Yes. Yeah. You know, but one thing for sure, they're going to be boxed in solid. No, they're going to be hard and boxed in. Yes. And Oh, he'll be and, tight. You know that. Yeah, that's what he's gonna have, and that's what's gonna hold hold everybody off of him. Now he can't have boxed in glutes next to Derek. They have to be shredded. Yeah. Look at this. his abs. For some reason, I really like this guy's midsection for the simple fact mm -hmm. for him to be as big as he is. He know how to get that stomach flat, and he has deep yes. abs. You know, and it flows extremely well for him. Yeah, I've been hard on uh, Nick Walker about the waist because I, 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 he does have a bit thick waist. He knows. He's even said it's his genetics. He's got it. He admitted to me on the show when I had him on the podcast. He's like, yeah. 
I am, and I feel like I got a, I got a thick face. I got, but he's got massive delts now in arms, which helped. To where it's helping the waist look smaller. Yes, but it's thick. It's very thick here in the midsection here. Like, mm -hmm. um, and I just a few nails in by the end. Yeah, yeah. It's not okay. Sorry, it's not very thick. It's just he's got a dense midsection. His abs are yeah. chiseled. They're great. You know, but it's just um, he's got a little thickness in there, and but he knows how to work it. He knows he knows how, he to, knows work how it. to work it, right? So kudos to him for figuring it out and making working with what you got. Yeah, um, it's just yeah. the legs. The legs are big. The legs are good, but this they're just a little funky looking with his structure. They still yeah, right because they're just, so short. They're, they're so stubby. short. Yeah, and you would you would think by them being that short that he would have bigger massive quads. Yeah. You know, but like with his genetic makeup and all of the tools that's against him, he put together an amazing package, you know. Yeah. And I think that's why I stopped riding him so hard because I used to ride him hard too. Yeah. I used to like, yeah. man, like this this dude looked like a freaking deep freezer, you know? Yes. And I I just I'm like, and he has no sweeps and you know, I was critical, but then I had to look at it outside of my own personal uh, preference and say, okay, let me look at this guy a little closely. I'm like, okay, he don't have genetics for that. Okay. He's hardworking around the clock. Okay. He's always conditioned. He's dice and he's constantly changing each, each competition he changes. Yeah. So I said, I got to give him way more credit. He has a V taper. The waist is just so wide. And that's what I'm saying. Like that's why I'm showing you guys this. It's it's dense, but then when he opens up, it 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 he can, you know, he can he put can it together. Put it together. He, know how to, he he knows how to use everything he has in his um favor. Like you see how it doesn't when he goes go, elongated to crunching. It, yeah, but it doesn't go in. It's just a straight line. See my mouth. Yes. He doesn't have yeah. the even Samson's goes in a little bit. Um and you know what's making it to where it's more noticeable because he mm -hmm. don't have those sweeps. Yes. Now, if he had the, the sweeps like Tonio, his waist will look pretty good. That's just like Big Rammy. Big Rammy waist is bigger than wider than I think oh, yeah. on the stage. Yeah. But those quads is what helped him. Yeah. You know, and he had a flat midsection. You know, um, like side, rear makes a different person from the front because of the the legs. Now this right here is just like it looks. Um, has he improved? Yeah, he improved from the rear. I don't know too much in the chest and arms because when he diet down everything gets soft there i'm always seeing him with striations in the chest off season in the gym but when he touches the stage it's always soft yes so i can't go off of this and be rooting really hard for rooting hard for him because we see this every year when he's in his gym yeah. that he has the striations the really solid hard chest and the rear is always bananas like right now he probably has the best, biggest, widest mm -hmm. back in the history of bodybuilding right now. Yeah. From what I see from the front here, I would just look at, I would just compare him to Hadi Shupan. If Hadi right. Shupan in his offseason hit this shot, striations throughout the chest right now. Throughout. Hard, a lot harder too. Right. Yeah. And um, he doesn't have it yet. He's got bigger. It looks like he got bigger, thicker yeah. chest. And, and he didn't pumped. need that. Yeah. Well, he needed a little bit bigger chest. He didn't need a bigger chest. That's what uh, Tyler. It's just gonna be a bigger, softer one, though. It's gonna be. It's like saying it's, it's gonna be a puffier, softer one. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. but he just he got the tiny. He's got the tiny waist. He can do the vacuum. Yeah. Nick Walker can't do that. And so, is that gonna be? Are the judges gonna be more like, wow, okay, yeah, like that's that's got a tight waist. Can do the vacuum. Versus well, Nick Walker. Hottie can do the same thing. <laughs> Hottie can do it. Samson can do it. Samson can do it. Nick Walker's going to be the only one out there that can do it. And everyone's going to yeah. be pulling that vacuum hard. 
and then meals to say this isn't the bone show this is not a should you be showing the abs they do show the abs but then they pull yeah. it in the vacuum and they show hey i got a tight waist i'm not a bloated belly i'm you know i'm in shape I'm not saying yeah. nick walker's on shape but it's just like it just adds another element to it yeah right it's yeah so eh, it's Air gonna be on fire we're gonna see oh, in, with like a week from now yeah two weeks about like eight nine days. We're gonna see oh, the week, when they make their guest appearance. The week Pittsburgh. before the week before the New York Pro. Yeah. Yeah. And we're gonna see where Derek is at because we're gonna be able to see him squeezing more with the cameras closed and all of this. Because if he bring those arms and that chest halfway as hard as he is from the rear, he's gonna be unstoppable. Yeah, we have Stu. He's doing the New York Pro. Yeah. Um, he's Still a little got light. So huge up top, man. Yes. <laughs> he's got a little light in the quads. Not much yeah. speed. Yeah. He does pose wide on the lot on the bottom, so it does help give him yeah. more space. Take up more space in the bottom there, but yeah, it's just. Someone said those were self-inflicted scars. Yeah, I, I read that in um, some of our yeah. comments, but I don't think so because they was trying to make it seem like you can't commit suicide cutting your quad. Yeah, and then your chest. He's like, "What's he doing this?" Yeah, so, on your like, back. Like, but, I would love to have him on the show. Yeah, you know to see. Oh, we can get him on the show. Yeah, yeah, just to see where he's at and all of this, and you mm -hmm. know, of course, ask about the scars and yeah, the hair and all of that. I wonder what I he looks like. I love him with hair, so yeah. Well, you hey, know, fuck. He, hey, he can fucking grow a full head of hair with that much testosterone running through his blood. I know all the gear. Kudos, grow that fucking hair out, brother. Keep it. Yeah, I'll blow it out too. I wish I could do it the same. Down that but... back. <laughs> yeah, his back. He needs, he needs a lot thickness. of. Yeah, because. The lore is looking atrophy a little bit, and I know it can't be atrophied as soon in his yeah. career. I just think he haven't developed the right movement to actually target that mm -hmm. that part of his back. Because even when he's just sitting there, it's a whole lot shallow on the left side. Um, yeah. When he just relaxed before he went into pulling back his elbows, yeah. you know, and I was like, okay. And what are those knots on the bottom of the uh, back? I don't know. I think this is this is muscle here, but yeah, you know he he's just he's not like this thing about Tony getting that shot. Think about Tony hitting that back double bicep and just destroying Beef Stew. So Beef Stew is going to be in that top five, but not, but probably fifth. Yeah, that's as far as I see him going in the, in the New York lineup. Um, uh, because you're gonna have Nick Walker, Tony Burton, Quinton Martin, and then Beef in fifth. Yeah, that's how it will. There's no way Martin's he's being Martin. Martin yeah. just got to come in drier. Yeah. See his abs is like there's none. Like I don't understand it. <sighs> you know that's... that like if you do it, push the <laughs> insulin too much, mm -hmm. that would happen. With your midsection. You know, it ain't the growth, it's the insulin that you can push a little bit too much and make yeah. them abs extremely shallow to where they, they non existence, kind of so like right uh, James. Right there. He's squeezing as hard as he can, but it's just. And he's a, he's a few weeks out, like less than three weeks out. And yeah. those abs supposed to be dialed in. He has glutes already in. So yeah. the abs going to come in before the glutes. Well, they should. Yeah. I'm just reading some of the comments there. Man, let me get a little closer. You see yeah. that um, right side of his pec? Well, really the right. left I was looking at. Yes. I don't just know like what that is. I've seen it on our bodybuilders like too. Ian. Yeah, uh, he doesn't have the 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 gap, but he has a extra muscle or something here where it's just like, it's just weird. It's yeah, uh, yeah. it's like it's just... here. Let's see there. Yeah. See what's here in the abs? Is that it? I like this dude though. Oh, he's funny. He's great. Yeah, I like Stu because 
if if Stu just continues staying healthy, yeah, he's gonna be right up there with a lot of the um uprising guys now that's making noise. You know, they yes. have the years on them. They're all in their mid late twenties. So it's just a matter of where he's gonna land, but he's definitely about to be a household name. Yeah, he's definitely in the mix. If he does something, especially does the New York Pro and comes in top five, he's he's in the mix yeah. for sure. And his then, legs a lot, a lot smaller than last year. Are they? Uh, maybe. Well, I think maybe his upper grew so much to where yeah. he's drawing more attention on his on his on his legs. Maybe so. You got Tim. He's also doing the show. Uh, I think, you know. His waist is going to be an issue. Could he surpass Beef Stew? Maybe. He's a he's a he's huge. He's as big. I need as... to see more besides just huge. Um, I need to... um, there. Oh yeah, he's a big boy. Like, that's that's scary. Sean but, Ray. But this this the thing. <laughs> Sean Ray sent me this photo together on that yeah. stage. Yeah. Well, yeah. Sean Ray sent me this photo. Was like wow. this this guy. Watch out. So uh we'll see. I mean he's looking at this, boy. he's fucking he's peeled and dry, huge, huge quads. Yeah. The only drawback is gonna be his waist, we know that, but right. Let's see if we can find here we go. 125 kilogram kgs. He don't have hamstrings from the side look like in this. Yeah. He's a little bloated here. See the waist. And he's doing in New York. Yeah, his waist is wider than Nick's. There's a little bit of skin folds there on the chest, like you can see here. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. and there's a little bit of things here, a little fat there. But how long? This is three weeks ago, so this is him six weeks up. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's about right. He's really going to be six weeks though. That's about yeah, right. Yeah, he's good. This is good. So yeah, this, but a little bit of skin there. Means his chest needs to be a little bit bigger. He needs to do a little bit more decline work on the chest to fill out the lower pec so he doesn't get that skin because it gets a little thin down there. Yeah. Right. So he's just going to be one of those big freaks at the show, which we all love seeing, but they just never can uh, go any further than that. I think Stu going to hold him off, though. Yeah. Stu definitely going to hold him off. Yeah. He comes and shredded. So, all right, guys. More more people are coming in now as the longer as we go on. So it's like <laughs> kind of... Yeah, we can answer a few, but we're gonna be cutting it short in a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, they're just people just making like, good comments. Okay. Uh if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, you know, who do you appreciate think? Everyone. Last one. Yeah, yeah man. appreciate you guys. Guys, yeah, thanks for joining us. We do appreciate yeah. this. We're you know, we haven't done many lives together, so this is our first, not our first, we did one already, but we're going to do more of these. Well, the right? Matt, uh, you know, the Matt and Max show, that's our first live, so. Yeah, and so yeah. we're just going to, we're going to keep it's it going live up. for now on Sunday. We'll, we'll we'll come back, we'll do a live show every Sunday. We're going to test that out, try it out, um, instead of doing the recorded version, um, and just give you guys a recap of the week, any breaking news, any updates. Uh, you know, athlete updates leading into these shows. You're going to find it here. We're going to pick these guys apart uh, uncensored and uh, you're going to hear it every Sunday. So it could be like every Sunday, you know where to go. Come to the Matt Mac show. You're going to, you're going to hear it from us. And it's kind of be like something you just, you'll just have a routine of joining us and being a part of it and, and talk with us as well in uh, yeah. uh, throughout this as well. Ask your questions guys. We have, 40 years of experience combined between the both of us in this Absolutely. industry. Absolutely. So we're here for you. Um, are you going to do the live stream in New York pro? Yes, I will do the live stream. Uh, if they have it, hopefully they do. Um, and, um, but it's going to be the screenshots because when the Arnold did the live stream, it was free. Right. When, when it's a paid, can't do it. Copyright. Yeah. So we can only do the screenshots, but I'll be doing that. And that's still fun when we do the screenshots. Still. Oh, yeah. There, so. 
so that is that let me stop sharing here i'm gonna wrap it up here yeah man time is 8 30 okay we're I'm probably over an hour we're at 49 minutes right now so we'll cut it so one last thing let's yeah. end us let's end let's end it on the woman beater beating a woman with a club for views yes. on instagram or yes. youtube or whatever yes is it real did he actually beat his wife or girlfriend I don't know girlfriend in girlfriend. thailand yeah um because you can see on Johnny Bravo's channel how yeah. the house was a wreck. Like he just lost it. Yeah. He just tore the house up and everything. He actually admitted to striking her with the uh, object as well, allegedly. And yeah, and I was just blown away because <laughs> it's people like that. Yeah. That do enhancements that make make it look bad on someone that's doing it on a, a level of competing and professional, whether you're professional, amateur, or whatever the case may be, but doing it responsibly without getting violent with another human, you know, and to hear him say it was for content was disturbing yeah. for me. Yeah, I'm just bringing up that article here. Um, upon arrival, officers discovered the man later publicly identified as Connor Murphy. So Connor Murphy allegedly his girlfriend with a golf club. Murphy's 20-year-old Thai girlfriend, whatever her name, uh, da, 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 was found with bruises and cuts from allegedly being hit with a golf club and scratched from bro broken glass. Her 16-year-old sister was also Sustained minor injuries and glass cuts. He's going to jail. He's going to jail in Thailand, and he's not oh, getting that out. So and, and they they don't play around with that, oh. you know. Um, Especially already, American coming there. We already see what happened when the other guy, when allegedly, put his hands on a call girl, and all of a sudden he just come up beaten to death and everything. So. Going to jail for him would be a blessing because he can lose his life behind this. Yes. Oh man, uh, if you beat a girl, if you beat a girl, first off, when you go to jail, mm -hmm. you're not gonna have fun there. No. Everyone knows what you did. Exactly. And he's he's an American in Thailand jail, beating makes a Thailand it, woman. <laughs> makes it even worse. Yeah, he's gonna be become. He's gonna be the. In jail, okay. Don't be the baby mama. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be the baby mama in jail. I'll take care of you over there. So, <laughs> so yeah, he that he's probably like fuck this shit. Like, yeah, maybe you can find a good lawyer. We'll see. I don't know. Probably not. You know, he's in Thailand. So, oh man, that's a tough one. Oh, uh, <laughs> he can have Johnny Cochran any day for the work. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, don't fit. <laughs> yeah. So we will we'll wrap it up. Uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have an exclusive look at Mac Truck. We're going into ten weeks out now. The Van Pro. Yeah, Saturday, ten weeks out. Okay. So uh, Sunday, you're gonna see him. We're gonna air it on the live stream here on Sunday. This is gonna be a journey, a road to the Van Pro, and you're only gonna be able to see it here on the live stream, the Matt Mac Show. So that's gonna be pretty cool. You're gonna get an inside yeah. look of how yeah. Mac is feeling. How things are progressing, if we're struggling with anything, his protocol, his his meal plan, his diet, everything. It's gonna be all yeah. out in the open. So absolutely. Yeah. All right, man. What's on the agenda for tomorrow? Workout. I have um biceps, triceps, forearms, brachialis. And you're not doing you're just doing 10 minutes of cardio still. Well, since I've been posing every day, I moved the cardio out to see how that's going to look when we do the update. Let me say something. Yeah. Um, reveal, then we we'll know, like, okay, you look the same. So, yes, we need you posing every day and we need that 10, 15 I'm, minutes of cardio. I'm going to drop the hammer. I'm, I, boy, right. I'm kind of, I'm kind of sorry, guys. I got to leave that out. I'm going to drop the hammer on Mac when he should send the update. I don't care. He's going to hear it. I woke <laughs> up. I woke up this morning. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm like, 
Sunday is almost here. Yeah. I'm going to have to hear fucking mad yeah. mouth <laughs> because yeah. it's, it's like. Yeah, I'm going to, I I want you to be, I'm going to say, I want you to, I want to see you harder because I'm looking at Stan. I'm looking at, um, damn, I just sent him, sent you his video, the guy that's doing the guy. guy. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. What's his name? Justin. No. Who would he? No. John. John Hewitt or something. Yeah. 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 He's hard. Look at how hard he is right now. I want that you to be that hard. Nails. He's 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 on it though. He's on it. He's on it. That's all he does. Is he's on yeah, because it, so. his competitions are way closer though. Yes. You yes. know. So he's been in the mix. You the guys, Max went on for two years. Okay. Yeah. He's just getting he's just starting his cycles here. Like he's not these guys have been juiced to the gills like months ago. And now they're <laughs> Max yeah, is so yeah, we we're we're playing catch up, but the beauty of it is after the Van Pro, we're going to have another show. Yes, might be the Texas. It doesn't matter. We're going to get at least three shows out the yep. latest year, so yep. we're going to see improvement. Yeah, you know, it's just it's this Van Pro is more important to me for the simple fact I'll be able to go over there. We'll be able to do more work. Yes, and then we, you know, we would actually be able to break bread and have a meal together. Yes. And, you know, besides just being, um, meet each other's on social media yeah. and social media buddies. So this yeah. one is really oh, yeah. special for me to do. Can't wait, man. Yeah. It's going to be fucking hilarious and fun. And, uh, definitely, uh, I'll, I'll be at the gym with you, West Coast. I'm your training, your peak week. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be good, man. It's gonna be intense. You get so much fucking footage from us, you guys. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy what we're gonna do because yeah, I'm gonna have to get out there like a week, a, a, a week, um, pretty much out pretty yeah, about much. a week, yeah. yeah, six days or so, whatever. Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking like six, seven days, yeah, before to where that can um tighten up even more. Because by me being there with you, you'll actually check. be able to see yeah. besides just my eyes, yes. on, you know, so that because the last week. A lot can happen. Oh, I can make changes in the week. I can do a lot. You can. I know you can do a lot. You have fast metabolism. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're. You're. We're gonna get you. I. I don't want you to be too concerned about. Oh, I gotta be big. I gotta. Stand yeah, I'm not worried about that. Don't it's conditioning fucking, at this point. It's don't become Samson Dada. Don't become Samson yeah. Dada. Right. Yeah, it's conditioning for the simple fact. Hell, I was two seventeen, looking like I was easily two thirty, two thirty five yeah. when I was two seventeen. Yeah, and I was kicking butt all across the stage, you know. Yeah. So, um, because I have really small joints, so yes. I can drop down to two forty five, two fifty, and still look like um holding my own. So yeah. I'm not too too key or too worried about like oh, gotta be two sixty five, gotta be two seventy on stage. No, mm -hmm. I have the right bone structure that can um, create that illusion, yeah. you know? So I think we're in a good spot. Yes. Um, so definitely uh, we're going to tighten you up. Um, oh, I almost forgot. So with the cardio, I was listening to Stan Effering, Stan Effering, maybe the power lifter, yeah. power lifter, and he did work with Flex Wheeler. Did a pro, he was a pro, we did a couple of shows. Mm -hmm. he's like a super science like so smart and um he's like i don't have guys do 30 minutes 40 minutes of sustained cardio i just say right. two, two 10 minutes here four yeah. hours later do another 10 minutes yeah two hours later do another 10 minutes it's yeah. easy i That's still have that. to do it like like literally like i would do five minutes downstairs yeah. on the treadmill that's not motorized, where it's yes. your own pace. And then yeah. we have a new one just came in where you do form carries. It's connected on it. So you put the okay. 25s on it. Yeah. So everything gets locked in, yeah. you know, so you burn even more calories. And yeah. then upstairs, you know, they got the other one, like another five minutes. So it's just a matter of breaking it down because if I focus too hard on it, yeah, it's going to be like I'm to T3. I'm going to just start flattening yes. out like pancake and there's not much, um, fat to where it's going to be knowing the difference to attack you know and that's one reason why i have to be so strict with my insulin you yeah. know um uh, more than actual uh, growth hormone because i'm not going to do growth hormone it's i'm going to do um uh mk677 because you know it give you versus uh the growth factors throughout the okay. day versus the growth uh, boom 
it just hit, then it dies out. Then I might yeah. have to do it again. So I'd rather do something that's going to constantly just keep shoveling it to me. That's like lose, using a long acting um, insulin because it stays in your system long. So even while you're not uh, about to crash yeah. and you're not at your peak, it's still beneficial. So what about, what about IGF-1? I remember Rich Piana would talk about the IGF-1. thing is IGF-1 it the lowest end I found it for was 1500 and mm -hmm. the risk is say your family has um high on um, cancer in the family mm -hmm. the IGF-1 will boost that so fast to where you'll be more prone to the cancer extremely faster because you know, the growth hormone converts into IGF-1 through the liver. You know, yeah. the liver dispersed the IGF-1. So I was like, I don't want to really risk, because me and Sean Roden was talking about this too as well. And he was like, man, if you can get it, get it. However, mm -hmm. you know, it can make those, um, the issues that you can get from insulin, you would yeah. get a whole lot faster with the IGF-1. Yeah, and that's probably why it's so expensive too. At the same mm -hmm. time, because to get the real IGF one is really expensive, and you will get more for your buck if you just do like uh, growth hormone. Okay, you know, yeah, and, and I just always wanted to make sure that I do it the safest way possible. Even though I know it's risk, I want lesser negative risk with what I'm doing. Yeah, you know, so. That's why okay. I had to make sure that I wasn't going to go that route because at one point, a time in my life, I was able to afford anything I want and yeah. as much as I want. And I had to really have a talk with myself like, mm. do you want to be known as the Nazar? Mm. Yeah. No. A straight guy, short life? Or yeah. do you want to be known as the person that never quit Dexter. and he went out there and did what he was supposed to do? Yeah. You know? Like Milos, <laughs> one way yeah, yeah. show his career, but he competed so much and he's yeah. so well diverse because of his experiences with it. And he's always been in the Olympia. He's always been a top bodybuilder. He was yeah. just the top at the bottom. I don't have no problem with being a top at the bottom. No, no. You know? I think I think you're going into this competition season. Yes, you want to win shows. Right, yeah. but you've you you have some catching up to do. These guys have been on it. You you've been out of the scene for a couple of years, so you gotta you might be a little rusty, and you gotta catch up, and you gotta get it together. And then maybe by show number three, you'd be like, okay, now I'm kind of my, my body's primed, and we're getting there, and we're looking better show to show type of thing. So I think yeah. that's what this year is about. And again, you're 45. You're not uh, 28, 29, 30 like right. the rest of the guys are right now that are in the prime of their careers right now. So. Yeah. You know, but you still you don't look forty five. Your body doesn't look forty five. Um, so you have that going for you. Plus, you took two years off, so that means that basically you, you're not. It's kind of like uh, Phil Klahar. He's fifty, right? Yeah. But he took seven years away from the sport. Yeah. That's why he's able to look the way he does because he took seven years away and came back right. and just started competing right. again. And then he's right. winning shows. He's fucking forty nine. Yeah. Right? And he's, and he's still on the Olympia stage. Yeah. That's an accomplishment. Okay. And not only that, I didn't start running hard gear. So I was 38. I got in my mm -hmm. 30s before I started running gear. Yeah. So nothing was built off of enhancements. I came there with everything. I just enhanced what I had yeah. already. So yeah. I think that's another um, key component that I have because I'm watching guys like Ian yeah. Valero retiring yeah. at 31, 32. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm yeah. like, what like you get yep. atrophy in the back and all of this is falling apart as soon as because when you start this stuff at a very young age the yep. body is not mature yep. yet because you're still at a high rate of testosterone your growth hormone like everything is still developing and then yep. when they start so young they crashes their system because yep. i get blood work done when i'm not on gear and my lowest levels of testosterone is 313 and yeah. I don't be tired. I'm still maintaining because we see how I maintain off of just yeah. natural testosterone. So it that all of those play key factors to let me know that, like Jay said, Jay Cutler tell me all the time, yeah. Big Mac truck is only a number. 
Yeah. You gotta be relentless. I'm mm-hmm. like, all right. He yeah. like, you know, you're crushing it now. Just last year, you had too much stuff going against you. Yeah. This is it. This is your year. He like, mm-hmm. you know, so it's kind of come, it's, it's all coming full circle. And you guys gotta realize the Mac wasn't even taking testosterone. He was just taking DECA <laughs> and, <laughs> and <trend. laughs> I was like, dude. So you're gonna grow into the show for sure. Uh, you're yeah. looking. You're. I can see you looking bigger. Like I, I'm gonna know. I'm gonna notice things you're not noticing, and you're looking right. fuller. So uh, you're gonna start growing into the show. So that's another. Yeah. It's gonna be fun to watch this, guys. Like you're gonna go along for the ride with us, and you're gonna have these conversations in the live streams about how Mac is doing, and he's a, he's an IFBB pro, and you're gonna get an up hand close look at this all the way through. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's gonna be real cool. It's gonna be yeah. real cool. Yeah. All right. We're a little over an hour now, so guys, we're going to wrap it up. Guys, we appreciate you. We're going to see you on Sunday at the live stream, the Mac, Matt and Mac show, and we're going to continue to do this. We're going to update you on what's going on in the industry. You're going to get it live, uncensored, and in your face. We don't hold nothing back. All right, guys? Mac, you got to go eat. I can tell you're hungry. You probably need something. So. Dude, I have my food right here. You see okay. me doing a little munching on the chicken? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, got, I, I definitely have to get this, get this food down. I got some chicken and rice waiting on me right now. All right. All right. All right. So we'll, we'll wrap it up, guys. Appreciate you guys. Remember to like the video, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. We really appreciate your support. Go and check out Max's channel as well. Put it in the description. Go support his channel too. Go like his videos. Go comment. Support us. We appreciate you guys coming in and, and being a part of this. Okay. All right, mate. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Yes, sir. There.